Well, good morning viewers, good afternoon I should say. Many of my viewers will recognize that. I'm in the basement. But I thought today we'd build a birdhouse. First I got to straighten up my workbench a little bit where I'll have room to do that. Be it known I'm going to straighten up the workbench at least enough to do that. At least to do my birdhouse I'm going to clean up a little bit. I was looking at my grinder, I'm going to drag it over here out of the way, but I can feel a groove in the side of this wheel here where somebody has ground something on the inside. It could have even been me, I don't remember. But uh, remember when I ran this thing sometime back, it's smooth right there, but this groove right here, that would throw it off balance. I need to take this thing apart pull that wheel off and figure out where I can buy a new wheel see if it don't run a lot smoother. This one here is definitely smoother. What I really should do is see about putting a buffing wheel or something on one side. I don't need a grinding wheel on both sides or else put a wire brush on there. I'd use a wire brush quite a bit and I want to build me a face shield across here a guard so I don't have to use a face shield all the time. Operating a grinder without eye protection is definitely not a good idea. Anyway that's going to be a project to do. Well it's a little bit later and you wouldn't know it to look at it but I have straightened up a little bit. Probably never get completely straightened up. Got that old broke Venetian blind out of here. I must have bought a new one or put the broke one back up there. Nobody ever opens that window anyway. That's why it was put down here. Um, here's a neat little something. A little, it's not expensive. It's made out of plaster of Paris or something. A bicentennial thermometer, but it's broke. Slides up and down. I guess I could calibrate it to another thermometer down here in the basement and glue it in the right spot where it would read the right temperature. Looks a little bit too handy to throw away. Bicentennial was a vent for you young people that don't know or hadn't never thought about it when our country turned 200 years old back in 1976. And this thermometer's probably been laying around in one of my basements of storage buildings ever since. Obviously we put it away because it was broke. Well that's another project for a one fine day. Today we're building a birdhouse. A birdhouse today is just a little simple put your glasses on Walter. Already made birdhouse that my wife bought it some place called Ollie's. O-L-L-I-E-S. She paid $7.99 for it here one day last week. But I thought it was pretty neat. Any of you people want to build yourself a little birdhouse and don't want to do all the sawing and trimming? Got the instructions right here on the back. Comes with paint. I suppose to paint these flowers. Let's see if we can put this booger bear together. Alright. Let's do some work. I think they probably had more than one kind of birdhouse at that place if you decided you want to do one. 
on here you can see they just allotted that you could paint the fly, the leaves that are on the front but I intend to paint the whole cotton peeing birdhouse and no no doubt about it it would be better to paint the whole birdhouse there's Melissa and Doug on the back it's probably more of a decorative type birdhouse but no more than she paid for it we're going to see if a bird will move into it I've had a lot of birds out there we got plenty of screws here, and I don't think it's going to take a long to put it together.